So today we're gonna to review the Pillsbury Grands Cinnamon Rolls. Now you, some of you have been seeing Claudia and Kennedy making these or eating these on uh, their Instagram channel. And I'm gonna actually do it from uh, start to finish, see how easy it is to do, what it tastes like, etc., cetera, and uh, what the uh, contents, I'm a blind son of a bitch. I need readers to read. You can see there the calories, all that good stuff. 300 calories per roll. That's crazy. Icing, 99 grams. Total fat, seven grams. Cholesterol, zero. Sodium, 550 milligrams. That's crazy. Protein, five grams. Carbohydrates, 55 grams. It's off. A shot on the counter and it pops open. And you get your icing. Well, you got your icing there. Damn, that's all I get is five. I'm gonna put these in. There's one, two. I like these on a cold Saturday morning. Spread those out. Oh yeah, got this trick she does. She puts a little bit of butter on on them. Either that or she's freaking lying to me. Brandon's still, he's probably still mad because he he's lost three challenges to me in a row. Now he doesn't want me in his videos anymore. Hope that's not too much butter. Because if I screw these up, I'm gonna be mad because I'm like Jonesing for one. There we go. All right. Gonna pop these bad boys in the oven. So they get golden freaking brown. Yeah. My review goes, these are simple to make. And these are hot. Oh yeah, look at that. That is. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to eat at least two of these. Now I did steal Claudia's trick and I did put, you saw me put the butter on it. Look at that. So simple. A bigger container of icing. Because that's the best part. The icing's the best freaking part. Look at that. Pretty easy to make. They got huge. I got this swollen up. Hey, Walsh kids, come visit your dad. Got some cinnamon rolls for you. Anyway, as far as the cinnamon rolls go, they are easy to make. They're fairly inexpensive. And now we're gonna try one. Mm. Oh, super hot. So hot I can't even touch it. Mmm. Oh yeah. That's amazing. Oh, I love when they come apart. Oh, that's worth the 330 freaking calories. All right, so overall, easy to make, inexpensive, done in a short time. I highly recommend Claudia's trick of adding regular butter on top before you bake them. They're gonna take a little bit longer to cook, but as soon as they swell up and get golden brown, they are freaking good to go. They're awesome. They're like addictive. Mm. That is sinfully good, people. Sinfully good. Morning, everybody. It's Sunday the 27th. It's a rainy, shitty day here in, in Maryland. It's supposed to clear up later, but I figured since there's nothing else going on, I can't go outside, I'm stuck here in the house for now, I'm gonna do part two of my breakfast uh, video. And like I said before, I'm trying to do easy, simple things that everybody can make. Sure, there's a lot of uh, different videos on YouTube about you know cooking this, cooking that, but some of them, I mean, they're so far-fetched, I mean, uh, even I don't want to try to try to make them. I mean, I, you know, I've, I've got a pretty decent setup here as far as the, the kitchen goes, and I've been cooking for you know since I was a little kid, and I've made thousands of meals for all you know my three kids, my two stepsons, 
uh, my girlfriend every Christmas, Easter, uh, Thanksgiving. You know, I cook for almost 20 people, you know, and I make different things each time they come over, whether it's a, a, a roast beef, turkey, ham, all the stuff that goes with it. Anyway, today I'm gonna make a man-sized omelet. It, uh, actually, it's a, it's a fluffy omelet, and I'm gonna show you how, the, you know, I get to the point where we make it nice and fluffy. Uh, we're gonna add things like sausage, bacon, leftover taco meat, love that taco meat, uh, cheese, and some asparagus tips. Yeah, I, I gotta keep it healthy. I'm trying, I'm cutting back on my sugar. Uh, eliminated all the tasty cakes and all that other snack crap uh, about two weeks ago. And uh, trying to be healthy, trying to stay in shape, keep this going on. Like the shirt, do you remember the shirt from a video from, I think it was probably last year my kids did when they dressed me up. All right, as far as the ingredients go, some chopped up bacon. Got some Jimma Beans sausages, already fried them and sliced them. Asparagus tips. And some cheese, which I've always used. It doesn't have that crap on it. Eggs, of course, for an omelet. Some leftover taco meat. Would love that taco meat. And use that in all kinds of stuff. Put it together next, time I'm gonna show you how we make the eggs nice and fluffy, and it's pretty simple to do. Now we're gonna make the fluffy eggs. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna sep separate uh, the egg whites and the yolks from each other. So you just gently crack the egg, and we're gonna put the egg whites Hold it like that, and you're gonna to toss it the yolk back and forth. Okay, and we're gonna put the yolk in the other bowl. Discard that. Same thing again. We're gonna separate it, toss it, and see how that white falls out? It's so disgusting. It's slimy and nasty. That's two. Again. Now, if you do drop the egg or some shells in the bowl or the whites, you can just scoop it out with a spoon. And that's all four of the eggs. Now, we're gonna beat the whites up first. Now you'll notice, the more I beat them, the whiter they'll get. Now they're nice and fluffy. See that? Oh yeah. Okay, then we're gonna give these a quick swirl. Swirl. And we're gonna add that in. Side. And then we're gonna mix it all together. We're good to go. Time to put the old omelet together. Our fluffy omelet. Fluffy. I'll call it the fluffy meat lover's omelet. Now if you're not a meat eater, sorry for your luck, no, just kidding. If you're not a meat eater, you can make it with vegetables, onions, mushrooms, broccoli, anything you want, whatever you like. So we're gonna get our pan coated with butter. Remember, medium heat, you don't want it too high because it'll burn the butter, which will in turn burn your omelet. That seems pretty good. Pour our the omelet mixture in there. Sit for a minute, start to thicken up before we add any of our ingredients. What I'll do is as it starts to cook, I'll pull it away as it gets thicker. I'll pull it away from the sides because a lot of people don't like that slimy, nasty middle. Like uh, Claudia and Alex, they hate uh, slimy scrambled eggs. They like theirs as dry as dry can be. So you can see, we'll just gently start to slide that in as it starts to cook. And we'll keep doing this. See how that just starts to tighten up. And this is what you gotta do when you're gonna make a thicker egg, egg omelet. You can make them thin if you want, but that's no fun. All right, so we got that going. We'll cover half of it with our taco meat. We gotta kind of move quickly. Bacon. Oh yeah. Turn that heat down. 
bacon, sausage. Boom, boom. Kind of got to place that a little better. And remember, it's still cooking while you're doing this. And we got our asparagus. Boom, boom. I'll use my clean hand for the cheese. We're going to sprinkle the hell out of it with cheese. Oh, yeah. Don't that look good? It's real good. Looks real good, Dad. All right, now here comes a tricky part where we gotta flip it all over. Oh. Move it out to the middle. I'll let trick. I'll put this in there and I'll flip it over. And I'll cook the other side. There. And that's how you overcome that obstacle using a good old paper plate. And just let that cook. I turned the heat off and I'm just letting that cook. Now that's a monster right there. That probably served literally two or three people. You know, if you're gonna have some home fries or some toast, blah, blah, blah. Now our omelet's done and we're gonna put that baby on a plate and just get it out there. Oh my goodness. Look at that beast. That is amazing. Egg amazing. Hot sauce. Oh yeah. Sometimes I'll put some sour cream on it as well. You smell that? Oh yeah. Real good. We've made this delicious fluffy egg omelet loaded with sausage, cheese, asparagus, bacon, and Leftover taco meat from the week. Anyway, we're gonna dig in, see how it tastes. Mm. That is freaking amazing. Oh my God. You can taste everything in the hot sauce, just knocks it out of the park. Look at that. Can you see that? Oh yeah, that is. And I used to make stuff for the kids like this when they were growing up and they all still uh, lived here. I mean, look at that. That is just beautiful. My goodness gracious. Actually, I take that back about, you could probably feed two or three people with it because I'm eating this whole freaking thing by my freaking self. What the hell's going on with your old pal Billy Bob coming at you? Well, I've decided to start a new series called News and Commentary with Billy Bob. We're going to talk about all the screwed up, messed up things in this world. Like them kids shooting up schools. What the hell is wrong with them kids? Anyway, stay tuned. It's going to be entertaining as hell. <laughs>